Hey guys, hope you all are doing well. In this KT session, we will see the concept of environment locks in Blue Prism. So whenever we go to this uh, system tab, we can see this environment locks feature under workflow. So here we can see the list of uh, locks and we can release the locks from here. Uh, this list is empty because we don't have any lock as of now. So as we all are aware of this word lock means we can lock uh, something similarly in our blue prism process if we have some piece of code uh, which we want uh, that uh, no one can use so we will apply a lock on it means if there is a blue a prism process and in that process we are using the excel file and this process runs on multiple bots or uh, on multiple resources. So now we want at a time only one resource can use this Excel file. Okay. So means we will restrict the use. Only one resource can use this file. But process is running on the multiple resources. So at same time. Uh, it is possible that at same time two resources are are running the same por portion of the process and in that portion we are using the excel file now we want that if one resource is using that excel file then another bot another resource should have to should have a uh, wait for uh, the first resource as soon as first resource will complete its work it will release the file or it will close the file then second uh, resource can use okay so there can be multiple uh, things only not only file means if there is any application so if first resource first resource is using the tech application so we want second resource should have wait for uh, the first resource okay so in blue prism code what we will do is uh, we will apply a log uh, we will acquire the lock as soon as we acquire the lock now we will start using the file and another resource on another resource that will check if there is uh if any lock is acquired or not if any lock is already acquired on the uh, on that stage so it will wait for some time let me show you how and after using the file we will release the lock so there can be a uh, lot of scenarios the uh, where uh, we want to use the code or uh, I mean there can be a lot of scenarios where we want to where we want that at a time only one resource will perform these actions and uh, on page two we are performing something now this logic uh, or whatever actions we are performing here uh, these are these can be performed by only one resource at one time okay now what we will do is we are calling this page here uh, this page 2 so now we will use an action state we will go to the environment uh, environment locking you can see a business object so we will check there are three actions acquire lock query lock release lock so as their name suggests, acquire means we are going to acquire the lock. Query lock means we are asking something to lock. And release lock means we will release it. So uh, first we will query lock means we will check whether the it is already acquired or not. Means this lock is already acquired or not. First we need to check. Okay. So for this we have to give the name of the lock. Let's say. Uh, I have created a lock with name ABC. I'm checking if this ABC lock is already acquired or not. And lock held, uh, we will give flag, we will get a flag. So in token, I'm not passing anything, okay? Better things you made it. Uh, let me show you that uh, environment locking the uh, environment logs page. See, it is uh, empty as of now. But uh, when we run this bot, let's say I am running this. 
स्टार्ट स्टेज एनवायरमेंट क्वेरी ठीक है ओके सो फेल टू फाइंड स्टेज लिंक फ्रॉम दिस ओके सो वी गोट लॉक हेल्ड फॉल्स दिस लॉक इज नॉट हेल्ड बाय एनी वन एनी प्रोसेस और एनी रिसोर्स ओके सो वी कैन सी इट इज नॉट देर इज एंट एनी लॉक हेयर सो वेन वी गो बैक नाउ दिस दैट लॉक इज नॉट एक्वायर्ड बाय एन अदर रिसोर्स सो नाउ वी कैन एक्वायर दिस लॉक सो फॉर दैट we will use an action that will be acquire lock because this is not already held by another the resource so we can acquire it now for this we will give the name of the uh, lock that will be abc and timeout if you want to give timeout means for 5 second or for type uh whatever the time you want to give for acquiring the lock and after that it will be time out and preferred token token will be like a uh, password we can say for applying the lock you will use the password and comment if you want to give any comment okay i'm not giving anything so in output we will get a token so when we acquire the lock we will get a token and this token is uh, useful because uh, when we release this lock we have to pass the a uh, token of that uh, lock okay so we will first check whether this lock is acquired or not and if it is uh, false uh in lock held is false then we will acquire the lock otherwise we will not acquire the lock or we will wait for some time uh for uh, we can apply a wait uh, and after few seconds check again channel and so we will wait for 5 second and we will check again when this lock is acquired or not so this is the flow as of now our bot will start it will check whether lock is acquired or not and uh, if it is uh, not acquired so we will uh, acquire the lock and if it is acquired we will wait for 5 second and we will go to the uh, we will check again after 5 second so if it uh, now we have applied the lock now we can perform all the actions on page 2 and after performing all the actions now we can release the lock now we will release the lock so this is how we can use all three actions of this environment logging business object so here we need to input uh, name comment token and all this so in token we can give token and also we can uh, release the all sessions of this log if we are using multiple logs in this process so it will release all the logs so see now uh, after acquiring uh, now Uh, the flow is coming into decision stage and it will check lock is held or not because it is false so it will go to this acquire lock as soon as we acquire the lock we will get a token and when we go to this uh, environment locking we can see a lock see status is locked name is abc lock of name of the lock resource is bar debug and process name is first bot and this is the lock time okay so now if this process is running on multiple boards this first resource means bara debug has acquired the lock now if it is running on another resource as well so when that flow will come here it will show that uh, it is already locked because lock is already held by bara debug so it will go to this environment uh, uh, sorry it will go to this slip stage it will wait for 5 second and it will uh, come to this flow again so for example uh, we are uh, not releasing this lock okay so uh, this lock is already held uh, you can see so now if we don't release this lock so blue prism itself will uh, uh, release the lock you can see see after uh, executing page 2 it will release the lock so 
this is how uh, we can uh, execute a particular piece of code at a one resort uh, on a one resource at one, at a at a time if there is a single there is a piece of code which we can't share with another resource at same time so we can use this environment locking this is really a good feature of loop reserve thank you so much for watching if you enjoy this video and found it helpful don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more such content hit that notification bell so you never miss an update feel free to leave any comment or question down below and i will be sure get back to you until next time keep exploring learning and creating take care guys bye bye